Greetings friends, I'm on a hike. Uh, that's what I do when I'm not traveling. I love going on hikes and exploring more things. The last two months I've been teaching myself how to fly this new little drone that I, I bought to improve my content, to show you guys something different to show you what I see just a camera by itself does not do you justice when you have that a little bit of aerial photography it does help a lot because you see things that you normally don't see even when I'm traveling there are things that I just do not see Come home, come home, come home. With the help of the drone, I'm surprised at how beautiful certain places are. The mountains are amazing. And this drone is a lovely drone. It's a bit small. Go back, go back, go back. Behave, hey. It's supposed to go back. <laughs> it's a DJI Mini 3 Pro. This little drone is very light. It took a while to save up for that, but I've got it now. I did not do too bad crashing the drone. I've had a few incidents with it. I've crashed it a few times while I was teaching myself how to use a drone because I've never used a drone before. I crashed it while hiking. I crashed it in the city. It didn't sustain any serious damages for about four, maybe five times. And on the last time, it sustained a very serious damage. It fell and hit the ground and broke an arm and I think maybe maybe broke the gimbal as well but luckily enough I had insured the drone so because it's insured that means I have to send it back to DJI who will then send me a new drone it was it was on a lovely day not too much wind it was just lovely and when I was busy flying the drone the wind suddenly got stronger and blew the drone towards the trees and unfortunately DJI Mini 3 Pro does not have side sensors so when it blew it sideways to the trees I was trying to fly it up so that I can avoid the trees but the wind was a little bit faster than me and the propellers caught the leaves from the tree and it came down very fast the drone fell and broke an arm as you can see here, it's broke. Uh, let me just remove the protector there. Yeah, this is my little pride and joy for my travels. It's always best to invest. There we go. Uh, this arm goes just like that. So this is my little pride and joy that I've been flying and teaching myself how to use it. A uh, battery goes there. It still turns on, as you can see. So all I have to do now is to send it back to DJI, which I'm waiting to do that. Because when you're traveling in different countries, more, more especially once, you, once you're out of the West, it's very difficult to send these things back. If I find somebody <laughs> going back to the west then i can give them this and they can send it to dji otherwise it's a bit of a of a challenge see the gimbal everything still works but i think maybe the gimbal must be damaged a little bit i'm not sure but i've captured some amazing footage with this little thing but it's very very light it's as you can see, it's very light it's 249 249 grams that's with the battery without the battery is to be much much lighter i think the battery is slightly heavier than the drone itself so first time i crashed it against the wall in the apartment and there was not much of a damage apart from uh, some um, scratches on the propellers uh, second time I was on a hike and it caught some leaves and hit the ground. 
and the ground was softer so it wasn't damaged that much i just had to get new propellers which i did the third level was flying it in the city and it ended up on a building and the building happens to be the headquarters of the ruling party <laughs> the political ruling party they thought i was a spy and i said no no you can check so they checked the footage and there was nothing they said yeah well you were telling the truth they gave my drone and let me go no fine nothing so i'm still a beginner i'm still learning how to get better on on flying a drone nobody's teaching me this i have to teach myself i have to learn even though it's broke you still have to treat it with respect and then fold the propellers I could do with a bigger drone but this this was all i could afford and then that so it's got this bottom sensors here so that doesn't hit the ground if, if, if you're trying to land very fast and the rear sensors here and the front sensors if you're going sideways there are no sensors so that's that's how it caught uh, the wind Oh, that's it.